Hey guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and let us know in the comments what you think about our videos. And if there's anything you want to see us talk about, then please let us know. Hey YouTube, this is Scott with uh, Scared City Productions again, coming to you live with another unboxing. Uh, this go around, I know you see that the box is already open. I've actually tried to film this once already. Uh, my camera died. So, unfortunately, I do know what's in this now, but uh, you don't. So, we're going to go through this. I bought their summer blowout cell, uh, and I ended up buying four boxes. Uh, so, I've got, I've got a few repeat things in here, um, but for the most part, I dug pretty much everything that was in this. So, we're going to get right into it. I ended up getting a couple of these uh, prop replicas from uh, the uh, movie uh, 1408. It's the key that, uh, that uh, John Cusack ended up using to get into the, uh, the room. So I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, and again, I ended up, getting, ended up getting two of these. So if you see me going through the box real quick and you see me set it aside real quick, we've already seen it. So we're gonna go ahead and go through a few things. I'm going to go, uh, the next item that I really dug, uh, I know this just looks just like a generic little pill bottle, because that's what it is. Uh, but this is from uh, The Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 3. Uh, this is uh, Nancy Thompson's uh, pill ball bottle for Hypnosil. Uh So I am a big Freddy Krueger fan, and I see Heather Langenkamp all the time, so I'll probably end up getting this signed. And I ended up getting two of these, so... It was uh, it was pretty pretty cool. Now, I hated these things as a kid because I've never in my life, not once, put a Rubik's cube together. But on the flip note, this is the Hellraiser box, Rubik's cube. I'll probably never turn it. Because if I turn this, it's going to be all jacked up. So, and then I'll be a sad guy. And I don't want to be sad. So I ended up, ended up like I say, ended up getting two of those. Now we did have one little, uh, little boo-boo on BAM's uh, part. I got this burlap sack uh, mask from the strangers uh, I was supposed to be signed by the guy that uh, that portrayed it I got the certificate of authenticity uh, and let's say, like I say this was supposed to be signed but I contacted them and they're taking care of it resolving the situation so uh, they're very good uh, you know I haven't called or anything like that but email wise they got back with me within 24 hours so I'm definitely not mad they're taking care of the situation um, and we got a new mask for Halloween. Yeah, I mean, as long as we don't get it mixed up. Now these are pretty neat. This is the little uh, statue from The Exorcist. Um, the little what's what's the what's the name name of it again? Or do you remember the name of the statue? No, the only thing that's coming to my mind is the little tiki thing off of the Brady Bunch. Yeah, this is not, this is this is from the Exorcist. I do know that. Oh, okay. No, I don't remember. Other than I can't remember what it's the name. Been a long time since I've seen the Exorcist. But we got two. Now, of their summer blowout uh, box that they had, uh, you know, typically they only have like one autograph, usually one prop replica, one uh, uh, one pen, and like one other item. Um, but during the uh, summer blowout, we got somebody here. So, I'm sure that there's already there's going to be already a video out, you know, talking about the firework stuff that we do. Uh, I'm actually sitting in the camper watching the fireworks. So that's why we had to stop for just one second to see uh, see if that was a customer. Uh, but Jeff keeps saying that we're going to kick somebody's butt. I'm about to whip somebody's ass. Alrighty. And we're back. Sorry about that little bit of a delay. I'm sure you probably didn't get to see much of it. But we had to go out and help uh, help a customer real quick. So we're going to go ahead and jump right onto this as fast as we can. Just in case if somebody ends up pulling back up. Uh, 
I know um, I saw the box that this ended up coming out of, uh, and a lot of people were mad when they got this. Uh, it is uh, the darkness. It's the cursed demon stone. Uh, and folks were mad because it was a rock, you know. Uh, and I get it. You know, I understand them being mad uh, about getting a prop replica. But here, here's the, this is the way I see it. If it's relevant to the movie, relevant to the show, it's a prop. And kind of no pun intended. I know it's in a box, but they thought a little bit outside the box. Uh, so I give them props on that end. Uh, haven't watched the movie uh, on that, so I don't know exactly if that's you know kind of accurate of what it looked like or not. Uh, but again, it's a prop replica. It's made by Dark Matter, and they do a lot of great props. Uh, you know, speaking of that, you know, on the prop side of it, with us doing our props, definitely them being creative of thinking a little bit outside the box. So, kudos on, on that. Um, I got three separate cards. They're uh, artist sketches and painted. Each one of them are hand done. Uh, so, all of them are going to be different. Uh, so, it's a one of a kind uh, sketch. A uh, card by Bianca Thompson, uh, and I had, like I say, I had three different ones. Um, not real familiar with her work, uh, so if any of y'all are, are familiar with what she does or he, uh, so I can't really say if it's a he or she, but I would assume that it's a she. Um, do a little comment down below and let me know, because I'm I'm not a hundred percent. You know of their work so can you see everything oh, yeah. I'm in? okay I'm trying to hold it up long enough that they can see it now in the in this box we had a ton a ton of pins uh, enamel pins um, some copies I'm gonna try to blow through these pretty quick because uh, there's so many of them I probably have 15 to 20 uh, in this box. Um, again, this isn't like their average monthly subscription box. This was their summer blowout where you got extra autographs, you got extra pins, you got extra props. There was 13 items in every box and I ended up buying four. They all put it in one which I was totally cool with. Uh, but the first one that you're going to see is from Silent Night, Deadly Night. Uh, it's, it's Santa. I believe the it was Billy uh, is what his name was. Blues. Uh, <laughs> if uh, if I'm wrong, just let me know. Say hey, you're a dummy. Again, got got two of those. With me holding that up, are they? Is it, is it folks? Yeah, I can zoom in on it. Okay. One, so this one right here, pretty neat. Night of the Living Dead, and it says they're coming to get you, Barbara. It's one of the good sayings from the from the movie. Uh, it's a limited edition. Uh, this one right here, there was only 250 of them made. So uh, in the box, you know, a lot of them where you might get some of these. I mean, some are blowouts. They give you a lot of these limited edition ones. I had, I mean, probably at least six or seven uh, that were limited edition. This one right here is the Crypt, Crypt Keeper from Tales of the Crypt. Uh, that one was uh, to 400. So. Back in the the 90s, I, I watched that like like it was a religion. Matter of fact, before we even started this, I was watching Tales from the Crypt, uh, the movie, you know, before we started this. So, still like it. Uh, this is from The Shining. You got a little bit of uh, Jack Nicholson. Uh, I believe it was Johnny, right? Yeah. So. Sometimes I forget, but I was pretty sure. But yeah, from The Shining. I ended up, uh, I think, with a couple of them from The Shining. Got the little boy on his uh, his little uh, trike bike. We'll go ahead and get to that one. It was a limited edition. On that one, there's 250 of those made. Uh, really, really cool looking enamel pin. Uh, I mean, just 
Almost. That's, that's what was the uh, the background, wasn't it? Like, I think it's supposed to be representative of maybe the carpet or the hotel. He was riding right around the hotel. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks something vaguely familiar with that. So, I, kudos to that one. That one. That one's a really. Hotel. Huh? I call it a hotel, but it was a motel. It was, it, was a, it was a resort. Yeah, well, I mean, there was only a couple of folks there. And the crazies. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is from Motel Hill. Um, it's got the pig face. He's in coveralls and a chainsaw. But I'm pretty sure that's from Motel Hill. We got another one from the Night of the Living Dead. I believe this one, no, this one's not the one that's that's limited, so this was the regular, regular one that they had. Now, they did send me a couple of the enamel pins that were, uh, I don't know, I guess they could be considered in a way. Uh, kind of scary, but it's more cartoony. Uh, this one's not one of them. This is from Salem's Lot. It's really, really cool looking uh, enamel pin. Let's make sure I had that right side up. Got another one. Salem's Lot. That one is limited. That's a 250. So that was really cool. So this was one of them that I was, I was uh, saying. There, there was only 400 of these made. It's the Joker. Uh, this one was part of the Batman expansion pack that they done. Um, it's a really nice pen, but you know I don't know if I would necessarily. I mean, it's kind of. I mean, he's it's a little crazy, but you know I've I've gotten the the horror stuff. Um, this one was limited, 250. Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night. So. Pretty good, pretty good little pin. I think Jeff, you're gonna kick out of this one. This is Pet Cemetery. I believe it's oh, a gosh. cage. Yeah. Isn't that right? Is that is it cage or gauge? Well, you're gonna get. You know I'm bad on names, but I'm sure y'all are gonna tell me how how ignorant I am. It's either cage or gauge, and I can't remember right off the top of my head. But really cool, really cool little pin. Again, another another Motel Hill. So the last two, I don't really think that they're it should be considered scary. For one, that's the Techno Drone from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It is a very detailed pen. Uh, I know that it's small. Uh, that's what you're seeing. But if you see, saw this up up close, uh, a lot of detail in it. Only 200 of those were made. So that was in the expansion pack uh, for uh, Kevin Nash. So, and this one's a parody pin, and I think that's supposed to be like uh, Bebop or Rocksteady from uh, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they turn their face into like a pizza. So, I mean, it's it's kind of got that, you know look to it but you want to see it I don't know. now I ended up getting two of these I don't know much about this artist uh, for one I don't I don't read as much as I should but I've gotten a digital download card um, and then the artist signed it. So it was uh, a little horror, and it's called uh, a little horror book. It was called uh, Burn the Rabbit and Rabbit in Red. So, I mean, it was signed. It's pretty neat. But again, I don't know a whole lot about that. Now, I can officially retire, y'all. I got a million bucks, but y'all let me know where I can cash this thing in at, you know, Creature from the Black Lagoon, 
Tell me whatever bank I can take that to. All jokes aside, that's pretty neat. I mean, it's got it's got detail on both sides. And what's weird is it kind of does feel like money. It's 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 thick, uh, pretty good paper, but it, it it almost has the texture of like like money. Um. So at this point. Yeah, we got folks Alright. So we're gonna take another quick break. Alright, so we're back in here real quick. Uh, all I've got left in here now is the art prints and the autographs. So I'm gonna go through them pretty quick. There's a few of them that I really dig. Uh, plan on getting autographs from. This is actually one of them. Because I'm again huge, huge fan fan of uh, Freddy Krueger. So this is uh, Freddy versus Jason. Uh, nice art print. Uh, this one was 927 of 1500. Uh, all the art prints uh, do come with a, a little COA on the back, uh, and all of them are signed by the artist. So I won't I won't say that on every single one of them. Just wanted to go ahead and get that out there real quick. So I've actually watched a little bit of. Whoa, whoa. Again, we're in a camper and Jeff keeps moving. Yeah. It's like, like the ocean. So this is the, I believe it's the Soka Sisters. Is that right? Yeah, Soska Sisters. Uh, watched a lot of Elevator. And I believe they were the, the ones putting that on. Uh, that's about the really the only thing that I've seen them from is, is that TV show. Um, I know they've done a, a lot of other stuff. Uh, and I know that they're associated with a lot of uh, pretty much anything uh, horror related. Um, this one, if I get a little bit, I know this is from Planet Terror, but I never did watch it. So I don't know much about these. Uh, they're supposed to be the sisters, the crazy baby sitter twins uh, from Planet Terror. Um, don't really know a whole lot about about that so maybe y'all can comment let me know uh you know what other stuff they've been in uh, but let's say i've never watched it all right this is autographed by chad Lindbergh. uh this was a limited edition of 250. that's a dude uh well it's one of the characters this is not the dude oh okay this was I spit on your grave. Okay. Apparently this was the chick. Okay. Jeff likes interrupting me. All the time. So, I know him more from Supernatural. Um, he was the crazy bar guy. Uh, in Supernatural. Knew everything. I believe his name was Ash. Uh, in, the, in the show. Uh, got an art print from Insidious. Pretty good little print. It's numbered to 1500. Really cool, Georgie from uh, It, the newer, uh, the newer movie. Uh, I have a couple of these in there, and then I've got an alternate uh, one that is actually limited to 250. So I'll show that to you in a second. You've already seen that. So I'm just going to put it down real quick. Uh, this one is a limited edition of uh, Bill Skarsgård uh, playing hit. Um, this one was numbered to 250. Uh, really, 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 really neat print, I think. So this was that limited edition one. of Georgie. It's black and white. Really, really neat. Probably going to end up getting that signed. A lot of the kids from uh, from here have been going to uh, a lot of conventions here lately. So, I really think Jeff's going to dig this one. Oh, yeah. Anything, uh, you know, Halloween, pumpkin, mm -hmm. Jeff loves. Just absolutely loves it. 
That was from what? Trigger tree? Trigger tree. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. This one I think is pretty funny. Gotta love little Sid Hag playing Captain Spaulding. All right, looks like we're gonna have to take a little break. So we're back to try to finish this up. Uh, this is be the third or fourth time we try to do this. Um, we've only got a few more prints and autographs left, so we're gonna go ahead and get right in this. So this is something that I really, really dig. It's a little collaboration with uh, Freddy Krueger and Jason. I don't think it's necessarily Freddy versus Jason, but it's a, it's a really, really good print. So you saw the black and white version that I had a little bit earlier. And then again, I've got another one of those from Kit. We've actually had the opportunity to meet uh, Miss PJ Souls uh, several years back when we went to a uh, haunted house convention uh, where I think, I think it was like the first or second year that we were selling uh, our product there. Uh, really really nice uh person uh, so this is i think the second or third pj souls thing that i've actually had signed so really cool and then these two autographs you've already seen them i ended up getting copies uh, of those and they've got certificate of authenticities on the back and then last but not least Edward Scissorhand uh, print. Um, I like the movie. I remember it. I wasn't really a big, big fan uh, of, of the movie, but I did like it. Uh, so I'll probably end up, you know, getting rid of this one. So this was not one that I that I'll end up keeping in my personal collection. Uh, as a little recap, you know, again, this was a mystery box that I ended up buying four summer blowout cell uh, boxes. Uh, each each one of them had roughly about 13 uh, pieces in each one. Uh, so you times that by four, it's about how many I ended up ended up getting. Um, a lot of uh, enamel pins. I had a lot of art prints, a lot of uh, autographs. Uh, and again, one of them wasn't autographed, but uh, Bam has taken care of me on that one. So uh, I'll probably do a little update video on one of our other. Uh, you know, can't even think of the other videos. Good Lord, it's been a long day. I'm hot, but we'll, uh, I'll end up doing a little recap when, uh, or showing you that when it comes in. They did tell me it'd probably take a, uh, a little bit before it comes in, but they're taking care of it. Um, so again, if you like what you saw, uh, and you wanted to get your own BAM box, uh, Again, it won't be nothing like this because I think they only do this every once in a while. Uh, again, they've done a little summer blowout. Uh, usually about five items is what you get in it, sometimes four to five. Um, it's $26.99 a month, you're guaranteed one autograph. But if you're interested in getting your own, uh, go to www.thebambox.com and uh, you can get your own box. Uh, I recommend it, you know. I know I've seen it again, I think I've said this a time or two, some folks have a problem with it. I don't really see the big problem. Uh, it's $26.99, you're getting an autograph, you're getting a prop replica, and you're getting two or three other items. Uh, every time that I've gotten the box, I've got well over my money's worth. So anytime that it starts getting less than what you paid for it, then I would say there's a problem. But Right now, I don't see a problem with it. We've got a really great opportunity uh, in September. We're planning on shooting our first uh, feature length film. Uh, we're going to have, uh, we've already talked to Santiago uh, Cirillo, season four of The Walking Dead. Uh, he's a really good friend of ours. Uh, he has already agreed to be in it. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to working with him on, on that aspect of it. But we're going to shoot a full-length horror film. Uh, plan on getting that out to DVD as, as soon as possible, uh, once we get everything done. But uh, 
you know, we'll kind of keep you updated, maybe do a little sneak peek behind the scenes on that. So y'all stay tuned uh, and uh, for the updates on that. Again, this is Scott with Scared City Productions. Uh, stay tuned uh, to, to more videos and we're probably even going to do a, a part three of our shed build. Uh, so, so look forward to that.